Hello friends, this is a tutorial video on drawings of ICSE biology made simple. Now this is the first drawing, the stages in embryo development. This is the heart shaped stage of the embryo having a long suspensor. This is having a reduced suspensor, only few cells. Here you see a row of long cells. Now these two are cotyledons. The cotyledons get elongated later on. This part is known as radical and this part is plumule. Now this one, this shows the pollen development. Pollen tube development actually. <clears throat> now this is the pollen head. This is intine, this is exine. These are the callous plugs of the pollen. These two cells are the male gametes and this is the tube nucleus. Now coming to the entry of the pollen tube through the female reproductive system. Now these are the pollens, they are landing on the stigma of the flower. They develop a pollen tube after few minutes. <clears throat> after few minutes of development, the pollen tube enters, enters and goes on. Then enters from the micropylar end of the embryo sac. This is the chalazal end, this is the micropylar end. The micropylar end has three cells. The middle cell is known as egg cell and the two cells are known as synergids. On the chalazal end you see three cells, these are called antipodal cells. Now, these two are the layers of integuments. Later on, after fertilization, the integuments become the testa and the tegumen. Now, this is the central cell made of two polar nuclei. This is a diploid cell. Now, all of them are haploid, only this one is diploid cell over here. These are two male gametes developed from the pollen tube. They will enter into the embryo sac. One of them will fertilize the egg cell. Another will fertilize the central cell. This is called double fertilization. Now coming to a monocot seed. This is the monocot seed of a maize, maize grain. The outermost layer is the pericarp. Then comes a protein layer called aleuron layer. This central part is filled with endosperm. Now here is radical which develops into root. This is plumule which develops into shoot. Above the radical we have a, a protective layer called coleoriza. Above the plumule we have a protective layer called coleoptile. The single cotyledon is known as scutellum. This is about reproductive system in humans. This is concerned with male reproductive system, sperm. This is this part is known as acrosome. This is the head containing the nucleus. This is the neck which contains two centrioles. This is proximal centriole, this is distal centriole. This is middle piece which contains mitochondrial spiral which provides energy to the sperm. Here we have a ring centriole from which develops the flagellum. This is the tail part which contains the flagellum and this is the axial filament. So this is all about the drawings. These drawings are very simply made for you. So please share the video to as many people as possible and all the best to you.